Hey, you ever wondered how much power these things really put out? This one, uh, this Baofeng UV68PM, it's supposed to put out about 10 watts. But it does have a full battery charge, and it is on high power. So, um, here's my MFJ meter here. It's made for 125 to 525 megahertz, so... We're right, SWR. Okay, get here. Calibrate. Okay, we got calibrated. We're on 146.520, two meters. Switch over here to SWR. Flat. Perfect SWR. All right. So, go over here, 5 watt scale, and this is the bottom, okay? This is supposed to be a 10 watt radio. Of course, we're going to have some line loss the way this thing's hooked up, but still, let's see what we get. <laughs> not, not even... Uh, Five, four watts. <laughs> so that's um, that's wide open, far from where it's advertised, right? All right, now we're on four sixty two six five zero. Same scale, five watt scale. Same thing. Three and a half watts. <laughs> okay. Here's a UV5R Pro. Has the extended battery. It's almost full charge. Let's see what we get on this one. Look at there. Almost five watts. Right at five watts. Huh. Okay. Here's this UV5R with a regular battery. They're gonna let me hook it up and see what we get out of it. Right, this poor little radio has been through the ringer here. It's, <laughs> it's had a rough life. I've had a long time, had about seven years. And um, it's been dropped in the mud and everywhere else. It's gotten beat up. But anyway, it's got the, the small battery. Here we go. Okay, let's see what we got here. Wow. Four and a half. That's this, so we call that about five. The other one's probably doing about six with a big battery. Time you add in the loss for the coax here. Well, that's pretty slick. UV5R is actually doing more than that. Over four watts, pretty cool. But I'll say this: in all fairness, you put the right antenna with these radios, and you can do pretty good on two meters and 440. And if you want to use it on GMRS, I mean they are what they are. Uh, four or five watts with the right antenna on two meters goes a long ways, and 440 also. I've had good luck in the past. With HTs, if you hook the right antenna to them, get into a repeater, they work pretty well. Just, I didn't think they would do what they were advertised, you know, especially being a Chinese-made radio. But this one's been around for seven plus years, been dropped, and everything else. So uh, it's, they're okay for what they are. They really are. A lot of people don't like them. I got the hand mic that goes with this one and makes it a lot better speaker hand mic for it. So, all right, there you go. If you're looking for a cheap uh, two meter 440 handheld, why not? Comes with a charger and everything else. Uh, antennas, this, this one come with a high power one. I got the extended ones that's pretty, that, you know, help it out. I can get into the repeater here and in Hutchinson, which is about 12, 15 miles away from here with these, with just the rubber duck antenna, no problem. So, 
All right, there you go. A cheap uh, way to get into uh, ham radio. Two meter 440 bail phone. They're not the most powerful thing. They misadvertised on that, but what isn't? It is what it is. That's what, you know, they're cheap. And so take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good one. 73.